Our next speaker is Craig Beers. He's from Neuroscience, and his supervisor is Dr. Paolo Federico. Craig's 3MT talk title is Simultaneous Intracranial EEG and FMRI for the Imaging of Epilepsy. Imagine with me for a second here, living every day of your life afraid that you could lose complete control of your body at any moment. For people with epilepsy, this is the fear that they live with every day. Now, fortunately, for two-thirds of people with epilepsy, medication can be used to keep the seizures under control. But with 300,000 Canadians who have this diagnosis, that means there's over 100,000 people living with this fear every day. Now, when medication can't keep the seizures in check, surgery is often the last option. I'm not talking surgery like taking out a wisdom tooth here. I'm talking brain surgery, opening up your skull and cutting out the piece of the brain that's causing the seizures. Now, unfortunately, this surgery is only effective about 50% of the time. And that's because finding the source of these seizures is incredibly difficult. We have billions and billions of neurons in our head, and finding the relatively few that are causing these seizures is a huge task. That's where my project comes in. We take two traditional methods for imaging epilepsy, and we perform them at the same time to generate some new and exciting information about seizures. Our first technique, is called intracranial EEG. This is where electrodes are placed directly on the surface of the brain to record the electrical activity of the tissue underneath. Now, EEG is so useful for studying epilepsy because even when a person isn't having seizures, the seizure focus, or the source of the seizures, is giving off little spikes that we can measure with millisecond accuracy. But what EEG can't tell us is exactly where the seizures are coming from. It just kind of gives us a general localization. That's where the second technique comes in. Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, fMRI, which shows us which areas of the brain are consuming a lot of oxygen. So we know with millimeter precision which areas of the brain are active at any given moment. But fMRI is a little slow, especially compared to EEG. But with my project, we combine these techniques together with EEG telling us when these epileptic spikes are occurring and then fMRI showing us where in the brain is active at any moment. So we get images that look like this. So for this person, whenever they're having an epileptic spike, that's the area of the brain that's active. So our hope is that with this project, one day we'll be able to draw roadmaps that we can give to surgeons that say, cut here to cure this person of epilepsy. Thank you.